I Can Do That is the seventh episode of the second season of Barney and Friends. And there are some really great songs in this. And Barney has a really great costume. I don't know if I'd say it's very nostalgic for me. There's not a lot of nostalgia specifically, but it was very educational. And I love to see how educational Barney episodes are because I grew up watching a lot of Barney. And this one has some great opportunities for learning, but it's also really stressing the message that as you grow up, you will be able to do different things. And it's okay if you can't do everything right away. For example, Baby Bop tries to skip and she's not quite able to do it yet. But the other characters support her and say, when you grow up, you'll be brilliant at skipping. Just keep at it. And I think that that's definitely a really important message for young children because children develop at different rates to their school friends, somebody who was born at the end of the school year versus the beginning of the school year, that's almost a year between them when they're still at a very young age and learning and development can happen at really different rates anyway, even not considering the fact there's almost a year between some of the children. So really supporting that message as we see in this episode that people learn things at different times is a really brilliant message for helping encourage children and preventing them from becoming discouraged when they can't do something. So I loved seeing that. I think it did a really great job with that message. The children in this one uh, include Min and Kathy. We also have Sean and Derek and then Baby Bop makes an appearance as well. In fact, Baby Bop's in pretty much the whole episode. And then as always, I will discuss some of the songs that I liked and talk about some highlights. We also had uh, a story type, which was quite nice. And it was actually mostly Min and Kathy telling the story. And we saw the illustrations on screen, which was really nice and a nice way to get children listening to to the narratives while also watching them, which was really, really sweet. So the songs. I watch Barney primarily for the nostalgia and most of the nostalgia comes from songs. And honestly, the songs in this that I liked are not nostalgic for me. They're songs that I have discovered, maybe rediscovered having forgotten them while re-watching Barney. But the first one is not the case. This is uh, Skip to My Lou, which is a song that I already knew. And then we have When I Grow Up, which is a really brilliant song that perfectly fits the theme of this episode. And it's all about what the children want to be when they grow up and wondering if they'll know how to do those things. Then we have Bubble Bubble Bath. And I think the first time I heard this song, it really irritated me. I don't know why, but I've actually kind of grown to love it. We then have Hello Goodbye, which is actually a song that sung, um, well, not it's not sung in French, but we get the French words bonjour and au revoir, which is a nice opportunity to learn about French. French was the first language that I started learning at school very briefly before we moved on to German. And I imagine French is one of the first languages a lot of children learn, so that's definitely nice to include there. And it's 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 quite a nice song. I don't remember having heard it before. After that, we have a couple I'm not familiar with. We have Rig Jig Jig and then The Cleanup Clock. I don't know The Cleanup Clock as a song, or I didn't, but the concept is brilliant. They put the timer on the clock and the kids have to see how quickly they can clean up the classroom before the timer goes off. Amazing. Such a fantastic way to get children to tidy up, make it a game, make it a race against the clock. Absolutely fantastic. Then we have Happy Dancing and Barney is wearing a top hat and he has shoes on his feet. And we learn that there is something Barney can't do. He can't tie his shoes. As he points out, he can't really reach his feet with his little dinosaur arms. But I think that's a really good one to include here because I think shoe tying is a milestone for a lot of children. The first time they learn to tie shoes with laces is a really big occasion for young children. So showing that Barney can't do it and he needs the help of the children can perhaps help reassure some children that if they can't tie their shoes yet, it's okay. It will come with time. There's a reason Velcro shoes exist. And then Barney does this great dance and I really enjoyed it. And I, I've said this before and I'll say it again. I'm always really impressed when the characters in suits, so Barney, Baby Bop, and then BJ further down the line, and then Riff eventually, how well they move. Because I can't imagine it would be very easy to move around in those suits, but they just make it look effortless. And... Barney's dancing looked effortless. It was very impressive and I can't imagine it was easy. And I maybe I'm easily impressed. I don't know. But certainly I thought it was pretty good and I liked his outfit and it was a nice way to 
to end things, not a bad episode at all. I Can Do That has some great messages for children, for the target audience, and also some really great songs and opportunities for learning. As I said, it maybe wasn't very nostalgic for me, but the songs in it were still pretty great, and all things considered, I thought it was a pretty decent episode.